Hey guys and welcome back to another True Crime Japan video. I don't really want to class it as a true crime video because it is about a missing person that we don't know what happened to yet but for the sake of the series we're gonna stick with the true crime title this story is about a five-year-old girl named yuki onishi who seemingly vanished into thin air this is an unsolved child disappearance case that occurred in kagawa prefecture on april 29th 2005. the day yuki went missing was greenery day which is a national holiday here in japan it's supposed to be the day where people are supposed to appreciate nature and spend time outside on this fateful day yuki her eight-year-old sister and their mother decided to go to a bamboo shoot digging event in an area Area called Goshi Kidai. About 60 other people, mostly families, attended the event as well, ready to dig up some bamboo shoots. And just a side note, if you don't know what a bamboo shoot is or a bamboo shoot digging event is, bamboo shoot is the growth of a new bamboo that's coming from underneath the ground and it's very common in Asia to eat it kind of like a vegetable. So they've set up kind of events like this for families to take part in and you can go around the bamboo forest and dig up bamboo shoots. So the area where the event was was a really isolated area filled with hiking trails, forests and some bodies of water. The bamboo shoot digging event began at 1pm and Yuki happily found her first bamboo shoot about half an hour later. She had very excitedly ran up to her mother and told her about this discovery and then soon after she ran off again to find another one. However 20 minutes later Yuki's mother started to realize that she hadn't seen her daughter in a while so she started kind of like looking around the crowd and just kind of searching for her and then she couldn't find her so she notified the event staff and everyone who was there started looking for Yuki however by 3 p.m she still hadn't been found so they called the police. The police arrived at 3 45 p.m and also couldn't find a single piece of evidence of where she could have gone or any kind of clues. Firefighters were also brought in to assist with the search at 5 p.m and they searched all throughout the night finding nothing and eventually over 3,000 people assisted in the search to try to find her and again nothing was found. Yuki was wearing a pink hat, a long sleeve shirt with a red and orange pattern, white gloves, long blue pants and pink shoes. However, not even any of these items were found either, not even the hat that she was wearing. Now perhaps one of the strangest things about this case is when the police brought in a sniffer dog to follow her scent. The dog used the scent from her water bottle and followed her path throughout the bamboo forest and then the dog went out into the forest and the dog stopped abruptly between the path and the body of water. In this area there was nothing to be found, there was nothing that looked like there'd been any kind of disturbance or anything like that so this was very 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 puzzling for everyone involved so the next day they brought in four more dogs to follow her scent and they turned out to the exact same spot I'm gonna put a map of the area the blue cross is where Yuki's mother last saw her daughter and the red cross is where all five dogs stopped tracking her scent now you may notice the pond very near to where Yuki's scent was last smelt by the police dogs and it was thought that Yuki may have wandered off fell and drowned in the pond However, the police drained the entire pond and the search came up to nothing. Other people have thought maybe an animal snatched her up, perhaps even an eagle. However, this was thought to be very, very unlikely. Most of the time, eagles can only carry five or six pounds and Yuki was 34 pounds. So this was kind of not really plausible. Another idea was that maybe she was attacked by a ground animal and she was taken away, but there was no sign of any kind of animal attack. There would at least be some blood or a scuffle or a hat would have come off or something. So that's again, not very likely. The last theory is that perhaps she was snatched up by someone. She could have been lured off the trail and kidnapped. There was a sighting of a man with a big backpack 
big enough to fit Yuki inside. But keeping in mind this is an area popular with hiking, so this could be a possibility that he was just a random guy just going hiking. But that hiker never came forward to identify himself. So you'd think that he would know about the case because he was in the area when it happened. So if he knew he was in the area and he knew he was hiking, you'd think you'd come forward to help the investigation, but this person never came forward. So that's a little suspicious to me. So earlier I was thinking about what I think happened to Yuki and initially I thought that she did just wander off into the pond. Like I said, they did drain the pond, but I think it would be very easy for her to be covered with mud, like in the bank, under roots of trees and stuff like that. That's what I thought initially, but that wouldn't explain the fact that her scent stopped suddenly. So this was the reason why I didn't think she was snatched. Because of the fact that I thought that the dogs would be able to smell her, you know, they could still follow her scent even if she's lifted off the ground or something like that. But I did some research and I actually found out that sniffer dogs don't actually smell your body odor. They don't track you by your body odor. They track you by dead skin cells. I never knew that. So it's very possible that she could have been put in a backpack. That could deter all skin cells from falling off onto the ground or into the air. That would make sense why the dog stopped smelling her scent at that moment. So I think she was befriended by, I assume, a male. Kids are very, very impressionable. They are kind of taught to trust adults a lot of the time. And he could have said something like, oh, like, are you having a good time? Like, oh my god, I saw like a bamboo shoot over here in the forest. And he could have taken her into the forest away from the path where, you know, people were walking. And he could have somehow made her be quiet either by physical force or something that's really, really common that's so extremely powerful is the kidnapper would tell the child like if you make a single noise i will kill you i will kill your family and i you know i will i know your your mother and your sister are here or something and that's extremely extremely powerful to tell a child i've seen multiple different kind of documentaries and it's that exact situation even teenagers they are led out of their house because this man comes into their home with like a knife and says if you don't come with me if you make a sound i will kill your whole family you know so that's a possibility so i think he could have done that put her in the backpack and then walked out i don't know how he could have gone away he probably had a car i don't know what he did but I think that's the most viable explanation for what happened. But I don't know, that's just my guess based on the evidence that I found. Since then there's been no leads or clues or anything like that. So it really does seem like she vanished off the face of the earth. She is still a missing person. Um, if she's alive today, which I hope she is, she would be about 19 or 20 years old. So that is the end of my video today. What do you guys think happened? It's a very, very sad story. Such a young child and it'd be so, so devastating for the family. So of course I sent my prayers and strength to the family and relatives and friends. Um, I don't think that's something you'd ever get over, especially since you don't know what happened to her. That's probably one of the worst parts, not having that closure, not knowing if she's alive or not, you know. So, um, yeah, prayers go out to them and thank you guys for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.